Okay, so we've got the box done, the belly band on, and we just need to now decorate it. So similar to the belly band on the other box, but I'm just popping back on. So as you see, it slips slips on quite well. I I am going to make the lab a label similar to that one and I've got a bow which I've already tied but we'll pop that on after we've put the label on. So I'm going to stamp the label just now. So I'm going to use Lemon Lime Twist for the pear and soft suede for the stock and the sentiment. So on this one, so and I'm also using the Everyday Labels Punch which came in with the Christmas catalogue and I am pleased to see is being carried over. So you can still order this punch. Everyday Labels Punch. Absolutely lovely. So I have actually, I've cut it out in Whisper White and to make a background for it I've cut it out in Lemon Lime Twist. So first of all I'm going to stamp the sentiment. I've put Hello Friend here so I'm going to do that in the soft suede. also put my thumb in so we'll take that back out. Right, so on the corner here I'm going to put Hello friend That's cool And then randomly going to stamp some pears on here Now this is going to be a hard one The stock is a tiniest little stamp which you probably can't even see So I've got to be careful not to lose that because that's something I'm terribly good at is losing things so I think we'll have one above hello friend one next to it one on there and one here not the full part of it Oh gosh, I thought I'd lost it already. Right, so now for the stock on the pears. It's really quite quick. I'm going to put the lemon lime twist out of the way because I don't need that anymore. And bring down the soft suede now. Which way round does this stock go? That way, the fat bit to the top, I think. It's very small, so we'll see if I've got it right. And then just place it there. Oh, that's okay. Only need to do it three times because the fourth pair is off the page. Wow, there you go. So that's the stamping done. So we'll get soft suede out of the way. I think I'm going to have fun with that little stamp set. They're very cute. And then, of course, we could punch out. But just for today, I'm not um, using the wee punches. But we will. We will use some in some of the project. I did use the punches in last week's video, so if you want to go back to that one, we'd introduced the spring summer catalogue. You can go back to that now. To provide a border, obviously, it's not going to look fab um, if it's like that together because you're not going to see the lemon line twist. So we can do lots of things. So for this one, I'm actually going to do a bit ski with. What I did with that one was cut it in half and then move it slightly so you see it's not quite joined in the middle, but it works. But I'm just going to do a wee bit, this is my favourite word, ski with. I'm pretty good at ski with, I don't even have to try to do that. But we'll just, there we go. And we want some dimensionals to fix that on, of course there's none on there. A new sheet of dimensionals out of the box. I've got, there's mini dimensionals and then there's the normal size. I think the normal size is best for this. So um, 
with the, the normal size ones I can use my fingers. With the little mini ones I find my pokey tool is quite the thing to use there. I'm just going to use four here, one in each corner. These are by far the easiest dimensionals I've ever come across in my crafting life. Too. Mostly I can do it with my fingers, except when I've had a manicure, which clearly, as you can see, I haven't this week. And there we go, so we're going to pop that to hide the join. And just to finish off, where are my glue dots? Just going to pop on the bow. Just so that I just put, you don't need as many as three wee glue dots on, but I just do that just to make sure that it stays where I want it to be. Again, I'm going to put the bow on at a jaunty angle or ski with, whichever way you look at it. There we go. Voila, that took far longer than I expected. But there you go. Two boxes. Now, you could, you know, you can hold some notelets and cards in there. I wonder what else you can hold put in there. wonder about tea lights. I'm not quite sure how many. T I've not got too many here, but let's have a look in this box and see what else you can. I'm sure you could think of loads of things that would fit in here. So one, two, three along the bottom. Have I got any more? No more lying in here and I don't want to take up any more of your time. Well, in actual fact, look, they can go too deep. So that would actually hold half a dozen. Um, these are Yankee Candle tea lights. No bother. Absolutely no bother whatsoever. So there you go. You can pop in there. And I'm sure, do you know what a scarf folded would be nice in there? Notelets. I'm sure you can think of sweeties. I'm sure there's plenty of sweeties can fit in there. So no shortage of ideas. So there we go. Two boxes ma made with the, the Tutti Frutti Sweet. And that starts off our project. If you look in the links below, you'll find a link to my blog where I will have written up a blog and put in the measurements for these boxes. Be interested to see if any of you use the idea and make anything and what ideas you come up with um, of things that could go in these boxes. Let me know. And also if you would subscribe to my channel and give me any feedback, comments, uh, constructive comments please, um, about how I could improve. Thanks very much for sticking with me. If you have any questions, get in touch. There's various links in the description box below of ways that you can get in touch with me. Thanks very much.